Hey guys, welcome to the third session of Excel Human Resource Salary Dashboard Week with BradEgger.com. And what we're going to be doing today is setting up name ranges on our calculations tab simply by using the uh, name bar that we have, I guess, to the left of the formula bar at the top of our spreadsheet. So the first thing we're going to do is start with the top three salaried employees. And we're going to put in the a name range for the top salary and the way we're going to do that is select go to that name bar type in top salary one then we can simply hit enter we're going to put in top salary two for the second highest salaried employee and then enter again and then we'll enter oh, we'll enter top salary three so now that we have that range set up, we're going to pop over to F4. That's where we have the name. So we're going to go top name one. We'll name the second top employee top name two. And then, of course, top name three. Excellent. So next, let's pop down to the bottom three salary. We'll just change the naming convention to match that. We'll put bottom salary one. bottom salary two and then bottom salary three so again this is a great way an easy way to actually add name ranges to your spreadsheet and then easily reference them on your dashboard so let's put in name bottom name one to stay consistent bottom name two and bottom name three just hit escape to get out of there bottom name three then we can do the same with each of the cells that we have under column H so for our employee count we'll just select the value put in employee count Cum cumulative salary we'll just put in cum salary and then finally average salary we'll put in AVG salary Perfect. So now we have all the name ranges set up and ready for the next tutorial that you'll see tomorrow. Uh, let's just take a quick peek at how this works. So if I put in equals average salary, you'll see that it automatically copies that and uh, references that cell. So this is exactly what we want and this is exactly what we're going to need for our final dashboard. So we will definitely, oh yeah, I'm going to show you really quickly. You can put it into a shape as well. So if you type in equals and then average salary directly into a shape, which is what we're going to do with our final dashboard, you'll see that that actually works. From there, we can actually format everything and uh, get it the way we want it to look. All right, so we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me today. Talk to you soon. Bye.